Today we tackle a coin that really stands out in a crowd and it's not just because it's a giraffe. Welcome back to the Culture of Currency, the channel dedicated to growing your love of silver coins. Before we get to today's coin, I wanted to remind you that I have a giveaway of a 1 ounce 2020 Kruger Rund in the coming days. All you need to do is subscribe and comment on videos I post like this one until I reach 650 subscribers, which is not that far away by the way. Best of luck to you, and let's break down this amazing coin. Today's coin was minted by the incredible Scottsdale Mints located in Arizona for the nation of Equatorial Guinea. The equatorial part of the name has to do with the location as we can see on this map. Lying on the equator means that the nation is hot due to its lying both on the ocean and as a sub-Saharan nation. It is fairly green, however. This nation is about the size of Maryland and has some items worth mentioning so that you get a better understanding of the land. I did not want to dive deep as this nation has many of the same issues as other nations in Africa with struggling education, high fertilization, and conflict. But I did find that one of the biggest metrics you can use to find the health of a country is by looking at the average age of population. This country has a staggering almost 40% of its population under 14 years old. They also only have 8% over 55, which tells you a lot about life expectancy. This is one of the least populated areas of Africa as experts believe corruption, authoritarianism, and lack of responsibilities on resources have led to a medieval structure of economics between the ruling elite and the working class. This is a nation with no evident middle class and it shows why a middle class is often necessary for the health of a country. Equatorial Guinea is not all bad. Though it has quite a bit of bad press for human trafficking, this land has made giant strides to combat the issue and offers something worth traveling for, the nature. There are many nature preserves and such a diverse level of fauna. Your dollar would be welcomed and it would go far in this country, though it would be worth you doing your due diligence and bug protection as mosquitoes and tsetse flies are a real issue. There's one problem I found on this coin, but we'll get to that in cultural significance. So let's move forward and place this coin on our 60 point scale. On the front of this coin, most notably, we are met with a shield and a silk cotton tree. This is not to denote the importance of lumber in this nation, but rather the place where a treaty was struck between the former leader and the nation of Portugal. We also have six six-pointed stars, which denote the mainland and five islands that constitute this nation. And below, we have unity, peace, and justice, which are notions that any nation can aspire to meet. As we scale back, we are met with a pattern that ties the front and the back together. This is the pattern displayed on the skin of a giraffe. This is a great use of negative space, as it offers a pleasing visual leading us to the border of the text. This is a really well done front and scores an 8. As we move to the back, we are met with the star of the show in the giraffe. There are two atop a natural scene encircled by African themed print leading us to our text. There's great attention to detail with texture changes and the natural artistic approach to the rendering of the giraffe. This is a well done, balanced reverse and does bring enjoyment to the eyes and scores an 8 out of 10. Now we fall to mintage. This is a place where many great coins fail and many bad coins shine. This coin actually comes in at a great 15,000 minted. That is a fairly low mintage and yet there's not a high high premium on this coin. It scores a 9 and it should be on the radar as a coin that can climb in value. Traversing to cultural significance, the front of this coin obviously marks high as the coat of arms of a nation are always significant. The back, however, hosts an iconic animal that actually does not live in Equatorial Guinea. I looked over many websites to verify the habitation of the giraffe and could not find it as a natural resident of this nation, but I find I cannot actually detract because Equatorial Guinea selected the giraffe as its national animal. It is my estimation that the giraffe, like many animals over time, were hunted as a source of meat and at one time may have been found here, but are no longer present. For the mentioned reason, I am going to score it a 10. If this is a nation's representative animal, who am I to detract from that? 
Collectability is where we venture to next. African animals are iconic as they seem to be the key feature of many zoos. Giraffe exhibits are some of the most enjoyable because they are always standing and are diurnal, meaning that they are active during the day. I would venture to even guess that giraffe are among the most loved and underrepresented in coinage, meaning that this coin will be sought after with a low mintage. This coin is highly collectible, it is not a mainstay like a kookaburra or a queen's beast, but it is above average and scores a 7. Uniqueness is our last category. We are met with a mammal that is occasionally featured by other nations in silver coins as you can see here, but this is the first from Equatorial Guinea. The design is fresh, but the subject is not overwhelmingly unique and it scores a 7 due to the low mintage and interesting design. This leaves our giraffe with a total of 49 out of 60 and just one point shy of elite status, which is also parallel to my thinking. Yes, this is a beautiful and unique coin with low mintage. However, if you are not a fan of giraffe and this coin does not move the needle for you, then pass. But if you love animal coins or want to invest in a coin with a high upside, this coin offers a great selection. I'm happy to have it among my growing collection as a lover of animals. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, and remember to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.